All right, guys, what we're looking at here is a Goodman AR UF60 here at the firehouse. Uh, you should recognize this unit from the previous video. Uh, I know if you watched Zach's last video, Talon, um, I know what he means about low voltage shorts being a pain in the ass because I've got one. I've got my little popper set up and I've got it calling for heat. I got the breakers off. I'm going to turn them on and you're going to see what's going to happen here. Boom. Boom. So, I have to figure out. I've done fault this once already. I found a loose wire in the uh, in the thermostat. So, I'm going to have to do some investigating. Because as you can see, let's do it again. So, she's popping. And we got to figure out why. Okay, I think I got it narrowed down. It's in the red wire. Now, the one that I have hooked up, you can see this naked one, that's coming from the stat right here. This one is coming from the condenser. And if we do the little popper, okay, you hear the sound, that means it's not going to pop. We're good. Now watch what happens when I touch the red wire from the stat. There's a problem in the stat. So let's go take a look at the stat. We may even have to change it. Okay, you can see I have plenty of slack. So, it looked like red and common may have been touching. I got a bunch of naked wires. So I'm gonna strip them back and rewire them and try that. If that doesn't work, I'm going to have to start ohming out wires, make sure they're not touching in the wall, or see if we don't have a short in this stat. I've got a stat on the truck, I'll probably just replace the face and try that first. Okay, I've rewired the stat, made sure nothing is touching. I'm going to snap it back on and we'll try again. All right, guys, everything's wired back up. I'm going to turn the breakers on, hit the little popper. That's a good sound. Now I have the stat set on heat, but it's probably in delay because I killed that breaker. But I'm going to go ahead and put a fuse in there, and we should be good to go. Okay, it looks like our problem was in that wiring in the stat. I've got a new fuse in there. As you can see. There you go. Right there. There's your fuse. No more sharding. The thermostat is blinking heat on, which means it's in delay. And we all know how delays are, so as soon as she comes on, we'll get some footage of her running. And that'll wrap this one up. All right, she just fired up. She's blasting me right in the face. I heard the condenser come on. Put my hand on the suction line. This is a heat pump. I want to make sure the heat uh, suction line is going to get hot. But yeah, when you're looking for a low voltage short like that, the best thing to do is just take it one step at a time. You know, you could have a uh, contactor outside, the coil could be burned up doing it, um, or you could have a broken wire or two wires touching. And uh, in this case here, I didn't show it on camera, I guess I should have, but it's nothing hard to do. You just take those wire nuts apart and you remove them, you know, one at a time, and then, you know, get yourself one of them little poppers like I had so you don't blow fuses, you know, so you don't blow all your fuses. And then just keep pressing that button and keep going and going and going and going and going until, uh, you know, until you find it. In my case, when I unhook the red wire from the thermostat, 
uh, the little popper quit popping, and that suction line is hot. I can't even hold it no more. And uh, the little popper quit popping, so that told me that it was the wire, the red wire coming from the stat. And when I got down to the stat, I think it was pinched off, or I think it, it and common were touching, which will cause a dead short. So I stripped those wires back, remade the connections, and as you can hear and see, she's up and running. And uh, I'm gonna button her up and I'm gonna go home because it's it's pretty late. It's almost seven o'clock. So uh, all right, y'all. We'll uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.